talk about how to cite our sources. There are two different styles we're going to talk about today, MLA and APA styles. So first of all, what is citation? Citation is acknowledging that you got information from other places, but it's not your original work. And the purpose is to give credit for credit it's due. Also, if somebody's reading your article, that they can use your sources to go you know, get more information about whatever the topic is. The two main styles that we're going to talk about are MLA, which is Modern Language Association style, and APA, American Psychological Association. So MLA is more commonly used in humanities. In, for instance, in English classes, we use MLA. And APA is used often in social sciences. And if you're ever in doubt, it's a little bit faster than what it should be. So they do have some commonalities, but they do have some differences. So, MLA, if you are using a source and it's in, we're using MLA style, so we're going to place the text immediately after using MLA source. So, let's say I am paraphrasing a sentence from a source, and then I'm going to say where I got that source from immediately after I write, write that sentence. So I'll be like, according to XYZ newspaper, the number of hotspot deaths has increased since 2004. And then I would do open parentheses, whatever the author's name, Jordan, and then the page number. Um, if the author's name is mentioned in this text, you only include the page number. So if I say, according to Ronald Snow, the number of pop card deaths has increased by blah, blah, blah. And then I would the page number. So for quotes that are less than four lines, we incorporate into your text with position. But if quotes are longer than that, we use something called block quotation from that which is where you kind of tab it over so that it looks like a solid block of text with quotation. Now, you should not be doing that, though, unless you're writing a long paper, because we want to keep our quotations short and sweet so that, again, our main ideas and verses come forward. You are going to create at the end something called a works cited page. So that's at the very end of the essay. You're going to title it works cited, the center, not fancy, and crazy. And then the entries are alpha by author cross me. It was double space. There is a hanging index format the door of the button. That means the first line is like a normal line, and then the line under it, if there is one, is indented with tab there. So each entry should include the author, title, publication, information. Now, what's great about the internet these days is that those citation machines that you can use, you can plug in this information and it will create the citation for you. Here are some examples of what citations look like. This is for this would be a book with a lasting first name, title of the book, the publisher, the year. If it's a website, lasting first name, because somebody has written what is on that website, right? The title of whatever it is special is in it. The website name, the date that the website was created, and that's usually like the very bottom, and the URL, which was void. Now, again, there are you know, websites that you can use that citation machine where you plug in the URL and it will create this whole thing for you. You just choose and it will format. If you're using a journal article that's in the database that's in the library, it's going to be last name, first name. You notice how this all last name in this. That's important. The title of the article, you notice know, the quotation marks here, the journal name, the volume number, the number of the issue, the year that it was published, and the page range that you use. Now, let's talk about A through A. Again, it's, it's similar in the fact that you use a sentence, you are going to immediately credit what credit is due. According to um, modern research, the number of, we would say the number of pop card deaths has increased by 20% since 2004. 
quotation, blaspheme of the author, but different, not a six hundred. This one is Lear. So APA focuses more on years versus page numbers because they want up to date information. So 2012, in quotes. Now for direct quotes, you are going to include the year and the page where you found the quote. If the author's name is in this text, only include the year in parentheses. So here, if I say, according to Mary Diamond, comma, the number of plot per deaths will be increased by 20%. Quotation, or I'm sorry, parentheses, 24, and so So with works with three to five authors, which this happens sometimes, people together on journal articles, cite all the names in the first reference to that article, and then use at all or subsequent places so that you don't have to keep you know, bulking up your IPA with all these things. You will also create an APA reference page. This one is different because it's all references. However, it is still centered and not used in any kind of that big success. The entries are also alphabetized by author from Steam and double space. You also have that hanging and then Format for that. Each entry should include the author, year, title, and publication information. Let's take a look at some examples here. So, for a book, last name, first name minimum, the book, the year. See, the year is like more important than APA publications versus MLA. Because MLA for the communities on English languages. It might be you're quoting something from thousands of years ago, but it's still it's still relevant. Like if I'm quoting Socrates, it's still relevant for what I'm talking about. It doesn't I don't need like a modern day Socrates to make me other points than another thing. But social science for sciences like psychology, medicine, all that stuff, it's the more science it's better. Okay, so we can kinda of go through the so formatting quotations. Differences and um, similarities here. So we talked about the MLA, the APA. Again, if it's less than 40 words, put it inside your essay. If it's longer, use that block format with no quotation marks. But again, unless we're writing very long essays, we want to avoid using long quotes. So here are some key differences: MLA versus APA. The in-text citations look a little bit different. We can see here, MLA is going to be last name Brown, page number 37, versus APA, Brown, comma, 25. We will go to the The title of the source list in MLA is called Work Cited, and APA is going to be. The date placement is at the end of the entry in the citation. APA is after the author's name and capitalization of titles. MLA capitalizes all major words versus APA that only capitalizes the first word, pop announce, and the first word of the so realize what is preventing that. Again, go to that Kindle Library website. They have help for citations with you there. And there's also um, websites online that you can use that citation machine to create citations for you. You will have to click on one page right here, to ensure that all your sources are in order, and remember, it's alphabetized by authors. That's it for me. See you later.